you know when you haven't filmed a video in forever and you kind of you press record and you sit there and you don't know what to say you don't know what to say what do I say I forgot how to booktube the last time I uploaded a video I said more soon very very soon and then I didn't sorry but I'm here now, and I figured to get back into the swing of booktube, a book haul? Book haul is, is good. So the books that I have here were gifted to me during Christmas, and yeah, I have like seven-ish, eight books. First up, I have Con Tiki by Thora Heyerdahl. Heyerdahl. This is a very well-loved book. You probably have heard of this at one point or another in your life, so not gonna get much into that, but the reason why I want to read this, there's a reason, the new Pirates of the Caribbean film, yeah, I'll never stop talking about that. If you have not seen the newest trailer, go watch that now. Oh, so great. The reason why I'm talking about this is because the directors of the new Pirates of the Caribbean film, they directed and adapted Contiki, which I have been wanting to see for a while, and I really want to watch that film to get a feel of their work before watching the new Pirates of the Caribbean film, just because I'm a weirdo and that's what I want to do. But I also wanted to read the book itself before I even watch the film and then watch Pirates. So the goal here is read the book, watch Contiki, then watch Pirates of the Caribbean, and then awesomeness. And then I have Kidnapped by Robert Stevenson. We all know Treasure Island, favorite classic. I have Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and other stories, still have not read that. And now I have this. I don't know much about this, but it looks like this book is about this, this young heir. He's an orphan. His uncle, who sounds quite evil, wants to steal his fortune. So the uncle sells the kid into slavery but then this kid becomes a castaway and survives uh, the kidnapping and a shipwreck and is rescued by someone and adventure ensues. Sounds fun. And then I was gifted Lagoon by Nettie. How am I supposed to pronounce that? <laughs> I apologize greatly. I'm so sorry. Um, Lagoon. I have no idea what this is about. Let's see. Three total strangers are drawn to Bard Beach. A marine biologist, a rapper famous throughout Africa, and a troubled soldier are brought together when an alien ship lands in the ocean, causing a tidal wave that will transform them and change the world. Yeah, I'm all about that. That sounds actually like a lot of fun. And then I have John Kendrick's Daring American Odyssey in the Pacific, Morning of Fire by Scott Ridley. This is a nonfiction book about the ship the Lady Washington. The Lady Washington is a ship that I, uh, a while ago now, I was able to visit and um, explore the replica of the Lady Washington. And a fun fact about the replica that I visited, that ship played the Interceptor in Pirates of the Caribbean. Being the nerd that I am, I wanted to know the story about the beautiful ship that is the Lady Washington because it's gorgeous. And and that's, that's about it. That's about it. We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson. This is wonderful. I have already read this. Um, I have been wanting to read Jackson for a while and this did not disappoint. This was such a fun, eerie read that I that I loved. I read this one morning and I really want to read more Jackson so when I finally decide to buy more books um, I will pick up The Haunting. I think that's that's the book. I'm not sure if that's what it's called. And then I have another nonfiction, Alive, the story of the Andy survivors by Pierce Paul Reed. This is the story of the, the Fairchild, which is an airplane that crashed um, into the Andes, and the there was about 40 passengers, I want to say. 40? Yeah, there was 40 passengers and five crewmen. Uh, some people were killed instantly, and then this is the story of the people that survived. Um, the things that they had to go through is terrifying, but I'm really excited to read this. I've wanted to read this for a long time, so... Yeah. The next book I have is a book that my older brother Tony gave me and uh, he asked me, he said, Erica, you want a book, right? I said, of course. What kind? I don't know. Nonfiction. Nonfiction. What kind of nonfiction? I don't know. Do you like biographies? Yeah, sure. Why not? On who? I don't know. Surprise me. 
and so he got me um, Becoming Steve Jobs, The Evolution of a Reckless Upstart into a Visionary Leader by Brent Schlender and Rick Tetzeli. But yeah, biography, Steve Jobs. We all know Steve Jobs, right? I'm just assuming here. Um, but I'm really excited to read this. It should be interesting. The last book that I have for this book haul is... Um, uh, it just warms my heart so much and that is Pirates of the Caribbean The Price of Freedom by A.C. Crispin. This is the prequel, uh, the giant prequel novel to the Pirates of the Caribbean series. Now there is already a smaller kids prequel series by Rob Kidd and that's more Jack Sparrow during his teen years. This follows Jack Sparrow during his 20s, I want to say. This goes into more detail on how Jack was originally a privateer and then his story into becoming a pirate. But I'm so excited to read this, so excited. Uh, I'm just really excited for Pirates of the Caribbean, guys. And that is the book haul. Those are, those are the books that I received during Christmas. Uh, I myself have not bought a book since the middle of December, which is insane for me, right? The book Aholic that always has to buy a book and has no self-control. I have not bought a book in two months. That's insane. It's because I have so many unread books that I tell myself, you just need to read those. And then when you read those, then you could buy more. So don't expect a lot of book hauls this year. I say that now, but we'll see. We'll see. If you guys have read any of these books, leave a comment down below, thoughts and opinions, or just talk to me. You can just talk to me. We could talk about something. I don't care. I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Uh, I will see you guys later. Bye.